Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about landscapes and impressionism and I'm going to show you how to make your own impressionistic landscape. Artist from the 1800s. All about Monet. This is Claude Monet. He is from France. Monet is a famous painter. When he was a boy, he didn't like school very much, but he loved to draw. He was very good at drawing and people would buy his cartoons. When Monet became older, he went to Paris to study art. He made many friends with other artists. At the time, a lot of paintings were very serious and used serious colors. Monet and his friends broke the rules and painted with bright colors and fast exciting lines. Other artists only painted important people. But Monet and his friends wanted to capture a feeling or a moment. Like when the sun sets, or when a ballerina turns, or when steam puffs out of a train. Monet and his friends loved to paint outside. While other artists only painted inside in a studio. People started calling them the Impressionists. Their style is called Impressionism. Monet made all kinds of paintings, but his favorite paintings were of nature. Monet had a big family and lived in a pink and green house. That is where he painted his water lily paintings. Many artists have been inspired by Monet's work. You can find Monet's paintings in museums all around the world. So we got a little intro on Claude Monet and Impressionism. Now we're going to talk about landscapes. What is a landscape? A landscape is a nature scene. Example, mountains, oceans, lakes, forests, etc. Landscapes also could be uh, cities, buildings, anything of that nature. So landscapes. The image on the left is a realistic landscape because you can see that it is true to form. You can tell that there are trees, mountains, water. The colors are true to color. It's very clear. It looks like it was taken with a camera. Uh, the painting on the right is Impressionism. This is the painting by Claude Monet that you saw in the video. It is impressionistic because you can tell that there are brush strokes, you can clearly tell that it is a water scene, there are boats in the background, but they're not very clear. You can just tell the outline of the shape, there's less detail, you can see brush strokes that are very colorful, um, colors are not all that realistic, so a little intro on Impressionism. So in the video on Claude Monet, you learn that Impressionist artists often painted nature scenes outside. The word for that is en plein air. That means they took their canvas, they took their easel, and they painted outside. Today, I'm going to paint for you an impressionistic landscape. However, I'm going to be doing it in my own home because it is raining outside. So I'm gonna take a landscape photo of cherry blossoms, which are my favorite tree, and I'm going to turn it into an impressionistic painting. This is the photo that I'm going to use as my reference photo, and I'm going to turn it into an impressionistic painting similar to this. To start my impressionist painting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint local color. What local color means is a background color that I'm then going to add layers on top of using a Okay, so now I'm starting to add my brush strokes into my grass to add light and dark areas. You can tell that I've already started to, and I'm looking at my reference photo. I can see that there are dark areas, light areas, and again, they're just regular little brush strokes. It's not smooth paint, and it's not very realistic. So I'm just going to take my lighter paint, darker paint, and just add little dabs of paint to create those little grass brush strokey areas. I'm not smoothing my paint. I'm not blending. 
I'm just adding dabs of color on top to get that impressionistic style and feeling. Impressionist painters used oil paint, which allowed for the paint to be thick and globby. It was really nice. It took long to paint, it took long to dry. We're going to be using acrylic paint, so if we make mistakes, we can easily go over top and redo an area. Light paint. Because it is not realistic, I don't have to worry about it being perfect. I just want to get the idea that it is grass. When I was deciding what photo to use, I was thinking about what composition I wanted. Composition is the layout of an artwork. What I wanted, its direction to go, whether I wanted it to be landscape form, whether I wanted it to be portrait, which is going the other direction, what I wanted to be in the center of my artwork, which is most framed. I wanted to have a little bit of sky and grass I wanted it to be a little bit off-center in my composition. So my trees are going to be a little bit towards my left and then have some open space towards my right. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish my grass real quick and then I'll move on to my road. Okay, so I finished my grass and I finished my walkway here. As you can see on the photo, reference photo that I used, that there is a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. So far I do have the Impressionist style. It's very painterly. You can see their brush strokes. There are light and dark values. Now I'm going to go in and paint the trees and the cherry blossoms. Um, in the foreground and the background to add in the rest of my painting. Um, I'm going to get started on doing that and take a video showing you how I am doing that. So as you can see, I started doing my trees. They're very painterly. They're just random with branches and tree trunks, as you can see in my reference photo. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to start adding those painterly brush strokes and unique colors. I can add greens to show shadows. I can add reds to show shadows. Impressionist, impressionists didn't use black to show shadows, they used reds and greens because they're complementary colors. So I'm just going to go in and add some shadows into my painterly trees. Up in the sky is going to be where most of my cherry blossoms are, so you're not really going to see a lot of that area so I'm not really concerned about being more precise with my tree trunks and my branches some of those branches will peek through the cherry blossoms I can add some highlights by adding this nice yellowy golden color Okay, so I finished my trees and my sky. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start doing my cherry blossoms. In my reference photo, my cherry blossoms are very blurry 
Impressionist style is often very blurry. It's more about color than it is about shape or form. So again, I don't really have to worry about making it very clear that it is cherry blossom. So just have to worry about adding my colors. So I have some light pinks, I have some dark pinks, I have some whites, and I'm gonna go in and just dab some colors around. I want to see all of those brush strokes and just dabbing color. I don't want to blend them because they're flowers. Still want to see some of my branches coming through, but I don't care to see all of them. change colors and get a darker pink. I think you get the idea. I can go in and add some white, some lighter values, some more shades of pink until I have as many cherry blossoms as I feel comfortable with. And then I can go in and add in some details later. I'll come back and show you what the final painting looks like. All right, so this is my final painting. Um, I want to go over again the things that we talked about with this painting. It is impressionistic style landscape painting. It's a landscape because it's a nature scene. It's impressionistic because it is not real to color, to shape. It's a little bit more painterly. You can see the brush strokes. Um, there's more colors in different areas than there originally would be. There's more color in my tree trunks. There's more color in my grass. Um, you can tell that my cherry blossom trees are not true to what cherry blossoms look like, but they're just blobs of color that you can get the idea that they are indeed flowers. Um, I was inspired by Claude Monet, a French painter in the 1800s, who is very well known for his in plain air, which means painting outside impressionist landscape paintings. I did not paint this in plain air. I painted it in my studio because it is raining, but here is my final artwork. You can see my foreground is the areas that are closest to me. My middle ground is in between my foreground, and then my background is in the very back. Um, I chose this composition, meaning my layout because I wanted it to be more heavily on the left-hand side and a little bit more open on the right-hand side. You guys can watch this, pause it at any point to help you in creating your very own landscape paintings.